Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase in the Retro Cup. I know the cup is ending, but we still have a couple more showcase for you. Taking a look at Driftblim, Babel, and Diggersby. So double normal team, really interesting de team, Babel with Hyper Beam. Now people know that Babel has Hyper Beam, but uh, it also has Hyper Fang, which I think is the more common moveset. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really battled B Babel in the Retro Cup. However, to be honest, I have used it myself in a Sylph Arena meta back in the Ferocious Cup. This was over a year ago. This is a long time ago. And I, it was really good. It was one of the top Pokemon for that cup, and I used it, but I used it with Hyper Fang. But obviously, you know, it has Hyper Beam. Super powerful move. It absolutely beams the opponent. Benefiting from Stab. So powerful. So hopefully we see some Hyper Beams land. Um, yeah, we'll see how this set goes. Driftblim not being knocked out thanks to the debuffs. And in comes Babel. Babel definitely looking to fund down... Oh no, the switch into Venusaur. So this is not a good matchup for Babel, of course. But if it can land that Hyper Beam, that will no doubt about it knock out Venusaur. I'm pretty confident at that health range, Venusaur will go down. But will they let it happen? I don't know. I mean, they might call the Hyper Beam. They might call the Bait. Oh my gosh, it does KO it. I knew it was going to. So much damage, guys. So much damage. So Hyper Fang would not have KO'd, but Hyper Beam absolutely KOing. It's so powerful. In comes Surf, going into the Hypno. Zappa Bell absolutely going to town. Switching in to catch this move. Going to be a Thunder Punch. 1 HP on that. Beautiful catch. In comes Diggersby. Well, I guess it wasn't a catch. Maybe they just button drip blim, I guess. But either way... In comes this Diggersby, of course, you can't go for Thunder Punch. We do see a Thunder Punch, it is double resisted, so it does nothing. In comes Pelipper, gonna be hit with a Fire Punch. Should be enough to KO the Pelipper at the range it is at. Uh, we do see a shield there. They do want to go for an attack, that's why they shielded. That makes sense, because Weather Ball is gonna be super effective. Uh, which does do a lot of damage, but will we see a fun down? Yes, we do. Can the Dig Diggersby get to an Earthquake to KO? It can. Diggersby is gonna close out this game with this Earthquake. Very well done, very well done, but you loved seeing that Hyper Beam land. Don't tell me you didn't. I know you guys loved it. I loved it, so you guys loved it, <laughs> but uh, great game. Uh, yeah, Babel, it, it's a good Pokemon for specific cups. I wouldn't say it's good in the open Great League, but it's definitely good, as I mentioned, for the Ferocious Cup, which is a Silph Arena Cup, as I said, uh, over a year ago, and it's, you know, I think it was good for another cup. I don't remember which one. And obviously good for the Retro Cup as well. So we do see a switch into Diggersby. This is a good matchup for Diggersby because Diggersby is double resisting Shadow Bone. And Shadow Ball, obviously Bone Club not going to do much. I'm surprised they threw. But they do bring in Lapras with Water Gun. Not the greatest, not the greatest. But this Diggersby does have energy that will allow all of that damage to go into it. This this Water Gun Lapras absolutely doing so much damage. Diggersby is going to shield, probably build up to the Earthquake and then bait the Fire Punch. Do, do you guys think it's in Fire Punch range? I don't think it is. Uh, there's no way this Fire Punch KOs. It will get it pretty low. We do see a shield, so nice shield bait. Uh, let's see if Fire Punch is going to KO at this range. It is neutral. Keep in mind it's neutral. Maybe it will. It is a shadow. We do see the double shield. Okay, so obviously that that's fine. Uh, so Driplum is coming in, perhaps looking to fawn down. Ice Beam definitely KOs. Going to be a Surf, nice call. Still does a lot of damage. We do see a Switch. I didn't see what came in. I think the Alolan Malawak came in. So Shadow Ball going to Alolan Mal Malawak, definitely huge. Bibel would have been great against that as well. Uh, in comes this uh, Lapras again. Going for another Surf will be enough to KO. You could fawn down with Bibel, honestly. Um, no, just gonna go ahead and go, oh, just going to sacrifice the Diggersby. I would have put in the Bebel and tried to fawn down because then you have that Diggersby as a sacrificial swap if you need it. Uh, I don't think Bebel should not need it because it's gonna get to a Hyper Fang. Uh, we do see an attack, still has a shield. Is Hyper Fang enough to KO? Yes, I, yes, it definitely is. Hypno is a bulky Pokemon, but there's no way this Hyper Fang doesn't KO. Let's see, let's see Hyper Fang coming out. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Hyper Fang from a Babel. If you can get shields away from the opponent, this Pokemon cannot be stopped. Hyper Fang. Oh man. Oh man. I'm telling you, it, it knocks out these bulky Pokemon. You saw that was a Hypno, guys. Just knocking it out. Not at full health. It probably doesn't one-shot it at full health. I don't know if it, it probably doesn't, but it would get it pretty low, guys. It would get it really low. Anyway. Into Metacham with the Drift Blim. This is an interesting matchup. Ice Punch is going to hurt the Drift Blim. 
um, which we're going to see right now. So, yep. But that's okay because uh, Driftblim will be able to obviously do a lot. But they do switch out to Metacham, Icy Wind coming into whatever came in. It was a Politoed. Okay, nice switch by the opponent. Uh, but now they're not only debuffed, they're also going to be hit with a Shadow Ball. So we could see a shield from the Politoed right now. Uh, no, we do not. Getting it pretty low. Going to switch out trying to catch that move. Unfortunately, not able to do so. If the Politoed has Earthquake, this will be an Earthquake. It could be Blizzard. If they have it, they go for Weather Ball. That tells me that they have uh, Earthquake. Going to go ahead and go for it. Well, that they have Blizzard, excuse me. Going to go for another Weather Ball. And uh, the battle is going to be able to fun down. Very nice. What are we going to see now? We're going to see that Metacham. Metacham doing super effective damage, right? So we're going to see the Surf coming in right now. That is going to get the shield. Awesome. Water Gun, Surf, Hyper Beam. Just a, a good moveset. A good moveset. Unfortunately, the barrel does go down. Uh, so, yep. Going to bring in Drift Blim. Obviously, the other Pokemon is normal as well. You don't want to take that fighting damage. So, we're going to go ahead and shield. It is a Power Punch Bait. Really, really unfortunate. This could be the Ice Beam. This, or not Ice Beam, but Ice Punch could KO. It is going to be the Ice Punch. Um... We do see a switch into this Jealous. This is a tough matchup. Going to switch, trying to catch a move. Unfortunately, not able to do so. Uh, Bubble Beam is super effective, but it's still weak. Shadow Ball is resisted. Double resisted. So the way to go is honestly Bubble Beam if you have it. Or Ice Beam if you have it. You don't want to go for Shadow Ball because it's a normal type. It's double resisting it, but that's okay. Going to go for the Earthquake. Some people probably forget Diggers B is part normal because it's mostly used as a ground type, but... Obviously, having a normal type, and it does have Ice Beam, okay? So, Ice Beam doing a lot of damage, and we're going to see uh, another attack coming in. This will KO the Diggers B. They could have gotten off that Fire Punch, but that's okay. Uh, trying to get to Earthquake, I guess. But in comes Drip Blim, Drip Blim going for the Icy Wind, expecting the shield. We'll see. Yep, going to get the final shield. Very nice. And now the switch into Metacham. Shadow Ball coming out. No, Icy Wind coming out. This will be enough to KO, even though it's an Icy Wind, I think. No, it's not enough. One more hex. That will be enough. That might have been huge. Depends. Can we see an icy wind first? Yes, we can. Able to get to the icy wind against Jellicent. That will be enough. 2KO. They significantly undercharge it. Oh my gosh. 1 HP and a dream. Literally living at 1 HP and able to take that win. That was a crazy win. Well played. I, I thought the opponent was going to get that one. I'm not going to lie. Definitely very tough. I like this double normal strategy because it there's a lot of good ghost types, right? We have Frostlass, which obviously Babel completely walls because it's resisting Avalanche as well as Shadow Ball. Both the normal types double resist Shadow Ball or any ghost types like Shadow Bone from Alolan Mawak. Um, you know, we saw a Drip Blim obviously doesn't resist Shadow Ball. So great, great Pokemon. Uh, so we have a Drift Blim up against the Talonflame right now. We're going to see a Brave Bird. Ah, uh, man, that's unfortunate. It doesn't KO because of the debuff, but in comes Babel. Out comes uh, Galvantula. That is tough. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Surf. We might see a Shield because Galvantula pretty squishy. We do see a Shield. They probably want to debuff. This is probably a Lunge Bait, but uh, it would still do a decent amount. It is a Lunge. Oh, actually, it just KOs. So it definitely did a decent amount. So Babel going down, unfortunately. In comes Diggersby. And Diggersby, uh, obviously, double resisting those electric attacks. So they will go for lunge if they get to it. So we're going to go ahead and go for the fire punch. That will be enough to KO Galvantula. Very nice. In comes Cresselia. You do have to watch out for the grass knot. Obviously, Diggersby being weak to grass. Able to catch the grass knot on Drift Blim. Talk about a switch, man. That was a beautiful switch. Able to catch that grass knot. So Driftblim goes down. Now Diggersby comes in. Still an uphill battle, but that, that catch might have allowed him to secure this win. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see because up a shield. Obviously, Grass Knot does not KO. It does do a lot. So, we, yeah, we do see a shield. That makes sense. It still will do a lot. Uh, it doesn't KO, as I said, but it does do a lot. So I think Diggersby is going to be able to pull this out. Going for the Fire Punch Bait. Let's see if the opponent shields this. They do shield it. That is huge. Can Diggersby get to an Earthquake? Yes, able to get to an Earthquake before the Grass Knot. Will this be enough to KO Cresselia? It has to. It does. No, it does not. They do get to a Grass Knot. Diggersby could shield and fall down. Not going to shield. Going to take it. Going to be in a Roar Beam? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. In comes Talonflame. Talonflame is going for an attack. You have to shield this now. I think Fire Punch at that range should be enough. Oh, yeah. Definitely enough. After that Brave Bread, going for the Fire Punch will be enough to KO this 
Talonflame, no doubt about it. So there we go. And now in comes Cresselia. One mud shot is able to win that. Grassnot wouldn't have KO'd, so even if they went for Grassnot over a raw beam, Diggsby still would have won, but I was not expecting a raw beam at all. I was expecting it to have Moonblast. But well played, able to take that game. Holy cow. I wonder how much Hyper Beam does to Cresselia. It probably does like 60%, 50% maybe. I don't know from Phil Health. Maybe sometime we'll see it, but going up against an Alteria... Obviously, I'll tell you, has to watch out for Icy Wind. Okay, I thought they may have tried to catch it, but, you know, even if they did, this would have went into whatever they caught it, and it would have debuffed whatever. So, oh my god, they don't even shield. That does a tremendous amount of damage. Drift Bloom will shield. Will the Drift Bloom go for an aggressive farm down? It, it might be too risky. Uh, uh, no, they're not going to go for it. Yeah, because if they went for that farm down, they would have had to shield the next guy attack as well. So, it wasn't worth the, sh the, sh the farm down. Uh, so in comes Galvantula, okay. So Galvantula gonna be hit with an attack, gonna be an Icy Wind, makes sense. So the Galvantula probably shields this attack, and they definitely fall down. So yeah, Drip Bloom goes down, but the attack fell on Galvantula, which is pretty nice. In comes Diggersby, definitely a pretty good wall to Galvantula, although the lunge is still doing pretty good amount of damage. So there comes the lunge. Uh, well, I mean, it's debuffed. It would have done more, obviously. We're gonna see another lunge. Debuffing the Diggers B again, but you can't switch out into Babaro. So lunge, yep, debuffing. Totally fine. Gonna go ahead and go for this Fire Punch. Even though it's double debuffed, yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, it's not gonna KO now, but it'll still do a decent amount. We do see a shield, actually. So very nice. Another Fire Punch into that Galvantula. So again, not gonna KO, but it does do a decent amount. Despite being double debuffed, we're gonna see another debuff. This is definitely gonna be another lunge. And there we go. And trying to get to another Fire Punch. Not able to get to it. Will the Diggers be shield? No. They're going to rely on Babarrel. Babarrel should be able to farm down. Um, no, they actually switch into Frost Slash. You can't go for Hyper Fang here because Ghost types are double resisting it. But here's the thing I mentioned earlier. Babarrel is resisting Avalanche and double resisting Shadow Ball. Although Avalanche still does a lot of damage. It looks like they are going for Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang is double resisted. But it might still be enough to KO. I would definitely go for the Surf. Uh, they are going for Hyper Beam. Is this enough to KO? This is double resisted, guys. Surf is neutral. Still enough to KO. And going to be able to farm down beautiful. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye.